Hello my friends, my name is Mohammed Naveed and in this lecture, I am going to teach you how to create mark sheet or result sheet in MS Excel. So definitely first we will come in new and first we will create a new database. So what I do is simply click on blank desktop database and here I have to give name to my database. So I say then mark sheet, mark, okay, mark, okay, is fine. And what I do, you, you can give name whatever you want. Uh, then after, uh, after giving the name what I do, I simply click on create and as you can see that now I have successfully created a database and with database what do we have? We have just one table. So I will go in the design view of this table. So I will right click and I will go in the design view of this table and before I go in the design view of this table, first I have to give name to this table. So I say mark sheet, mark sheet table. And here I have to give uh, the fields. So definitely I say the names. Definitely name will be a uh, short text and then uh, subject. So I say the first is math. Math definitely math. That math will be different number. Uh, computer and computer definitely computer will be number. And uh, what do we have last? We have for example Urdu. Urdu. Okay, so Urdu will be also number and definitely total marks. So we said total total will be also uh, the number uh, So the number and then what do we have? We have percentage percentage will also be number and The last what do we have we have grade so definitely will also take out the grade as well So here we say grade definitely grade will be short text getting if you're not getting what I'm doing So don't take decision. Okay uh, after this what I do I will save this and I will close this and I will double click on it and definitely I will go in the object type and I will double click on it as you can see then now we have table in table what do we have first we have ID the name then the subject math computer Urdu it can be any subject okay and here we have three subjects and then total percentage and then what do we have we have grade uh, definitely if you will work here uh, in the table so it won't be good so what we'll do we'll go in create and definitely we'll create a form so definitely create and then definitely I will click on form and as you can see then now I have form so I will save this form I say that mark sheet form and definitely here we have uh, this form we will go in the design view of this form and what we'll do uh, we will first we'll take three buttons definitely first will be the total and second will be the percentage and th uh, grade will be a uh, third button will be for grade get me so for example uh, if i want three buttons so i will go in design view and the menu and as you can see there we have uh, x axis so means that buttons so I, or I will click on it and i will click and drag and as you can see that now i have a button i will go again and i will take another button and i will go again and i will take button Okay, so this button will be whenever we will click on it. So it will give us the total. So we say total Total and definitely this button will be for percentage and This button will be for grade Okay, and then what we will do uh, we will align this. Okay, so it's fine. Okay, it's fine So what we do uh, we will uh, definitely first select this uh, you can say button and definitely will go in events and even what do we have we have uh, on click so definitely I will click on this and I will I will go in event procedure and I will click on this dotted button and as I click on it as you can see that now I am in a new world and this is a world of visual basic so definitely this is a uh, uh, because a total button so definitely we want a total so we said total means this field in this field is equals to is equals to means after what uh, uh, after equals to whatever we say now so it will come here it will come it, it, it will show here so we say uh, equals to math total is equals to math plus computer plus and then what do we have we have urdu so we say urdu very me so definitely total is equals to total math plus uh, computer and plus uh, Urdu and in order to see this I will go in menu view and I will click on the form view and if I click no error means fine so I will type the name I say Navid and I have to give numbers so I say then math he got 100 uh, in computer he got 95 and Urdu he got um, uh, for example 40 marks okay and if I want to get 
the total so what i do i simply click on <coughs> total and as you can see that now we have total means 235 getting me so definitely this is a total for well, uh, the total if uh, 100 plus 95 then answer that plus uh, 40 so the answer is 235 okay so this is a total so if i click on it definitely i can get the total of my subjects now i want the percentage so i will go again in view and i will click on design view and now we will work on uh, percentage so definitely select this button uh, go in events and definitely go in event procedure and go uh, click on this dotted button and uh, what i do i i will say that this percentage or this person i will first copy this and i will paste it here and is equals to total means the answer of total whatever the answer total is so just copy it and paste it here divided by 300 multiply by 100 so why do we have 300 for example if we have one subject so definitely uh, the the one subject uh, marks will be for example if uh, if the one marks 100 for example so here here we have 3 so 100 plus 100 plus 100 equals 300 means 100 then plus 100 200 and definitely uh, 100 for urdu so here what do we have we have 300 so means the total marks definitely here what do we have we have uh, 300 and multiply by 100 getting me so this is the normal way to to take the percentage mean total marks means whatever the total marks it will take divided by the total marks of the subject and multiply by 100 so let's see if it works so i will go in view and i will click on form view and i will click on person as you can see that now we have person means 78 person getting me so now i am also getting the percentage now what do we have last we have the grade so definitely computer will or uh, computer will take out our person uh, grade means that according to our uh, uh, means a uh, percentage it will say that uh, either it is a a plus or a or b or c getting me so in order to do this what we do we will go again in view and i will go in design view and now i will click on uh, grade button because definitely we now you take out the grade so first i will select this button and i will go events and i will click on on click and i will click on it and event procedure and i will click on this dot dot button and as you can see that now again i am in visual uh, basic environment so here i have to use one uh, statement or definitely most important is called if so i will say if if is very important uh, but if it will understand so if my percentage if my percentage mean this okay so if i say okay this so i say that if my percentage is greater than 80 then then grade means uh, uh, this uh, you can say this cell or this field is equals to I mean whatever I say after equals it will come so I say is equals to a plus as we will review again if my percentage is uh, greater than 70 then grade is equals to a else if my percentage is greater than 60 then grade is equals to oh, oh, grade is equals to b and after as uh, you can give more conditions but i say it's fine for me i say fail after 60 we don't have any mark okay and after this uh, we have to uh, off or close this all uh, if I say the and if and if and therefore how many or uh, if we open one two and three so therefore we have to close all three of, of the if and definitely if, if and if oh let's see uh, is it working or not so definitely this is a formula or this is definitely uh, we've done uh, we will come here again uh so we go in the view and if i click so wow we have the answer a getting me so why do we have answer because it is greater than uh, you can say 70. so what uh, the condition we gave we gave the condition that if our percentage is greater than 70 then give us a let's suppose if i uh, if i say here that navi got 100 so definitely if i definitely click on total so the no, total is 9295 and the person is 98 so let's see that uh, is it giving us uh, uh, you can say uh, a plus so definitely i will click on grade and as you can see that now we have a plus why because according to our 
percentage it gives us a uh, grade so definitely we'll go again in the visual basic and here what do we have we have uh, uh, you can say if so what we say if this is a condition uh, if so if our percentage is greater than 80 then grade is equals to a plus else definitely else if it's not so then if my percentage is greater than 70 then a grade means that field is equals to a then give us a as if our percentage is greater than 60 then grade is equals to b as and after the you can give as many conditions as you want but for, for me it's fine so i say as uh, if my percentage is uh, less than uh, if you can say 60 then give us a fail so definitely now we have grade is equals to fail getting me so this is the way to give the grade and definitely uh, it is not very hard definitely if you will practice that uh, it will become very easy for you so in this lecture what did we learn we learn mark sheet and if i go and definitely if we refresh this so here we have data getting me if i refresh this so here we have data of navid so definitely navid name navid and uh, navid got 100 marks in math 95 95 marks in uh, com computer and 40 marks in definitely in urdu and the total is 235 and the percentage is uh, what do we have the percentage is a uh, great and if I say I've refresh all definitely here we have the percentage getting me so this is a way uh, to to make a, or definitely to make a mark sheet or result sheet in MS success I hope you've understood for more videos lecture and exercises come to my website www.navitplus.com I love and I will meet you in the next video. till then I love